Hello, in this video, we are going to solve this exponential problem. We have negative 9 to the power of t equals 9. We are solving for a value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, in this video, we are going to make use of two different methods. Now, in the first method, what we are going to do is we are going to represent this negative 9 as product of negative 1 times 9. So we have negative 1 times 9 who we'll represent this 9 here we have negative 1 times 9 raised to the power of t equals 9 now what we are going to do will be to apply this identity if you have a power b raised to the power of c equals a power c times b power c we apply this identity right here we have negative 1 power t times 9 power t equals 9. Now, let's consider this Euler's identity. If you have b e power i times pi plus 1, this equals 0. So from here on, there is negative 1 here, so we can as well move this 1 over here. It will surely become e power i times pi equals negative 1. That means negative 1 equals e power i times pi. Now, if this is the case, that means we are going to replace this negative 1 here with e power i times pi. So this particular equation will simply become we have, instead of having negative 1, we have e power i times pi and this is raised to the power of t don't forget that so we have this raised to the power of t then we have times 9 power t of times 9 power t equals 9 so what we are going to do will be to multiply this exponent Using this identity, if you have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So you can multiply this identity. That means you are simply going to have e power i times pi t times 9 power t equals 9. Now at this point, what we are going to do next will be to make use of natural log. We have ln of e power i times pi t. Then we have times, we can as well have times 9 power t equals ln of 9. Right? So at this particular point, we apply this logarithm property. If you have ln of a times b, this equals ln a plus ln b so we apply this property right here that means we are simply going to have ln e power i times pi t plus ln 9 power t and this equals ln 9 so if you also apply this logarithm property if you have ln a power b this equals b times ln a. So that means i pi t will come behind this ln. This t will come behind this ln. So what you are simply going to have will be i pi t times ln e plus t times ln 9 equals ln 9. So from here, ln times e, this cancel this, that will give us 1. We have i pi t times 1 plus t times ln 9. This is t ln 9 equals ln 9. If you multiply this out, you have i pi t plus t ln 9 equals ln 9. Now at this point, there is t here, there is t here, we can factor that out. 
we have t times this divided by t we have i pi plus this divided by t we have ln 9 and this equals ln 9. Now what next we can do will be to isolate t because we are solving for t we divide this by i pi plus ln 9 and we divide this by i pi plus ln 9. So what will happen is that this cancel this and we are simply going to have t equals ln 9 divided by i pi plus ln 9. So this is our solution using this particular method. Now the next thing we are going to do will be to consider the second method. And let's do that immediately. So we have the same problem. This is negative 9 raised to the power of t equals 9. Now in this second method, we take the first step again. Negative 9 is the same thing as writing negative 1 times 9. So we have negative 1 times 9 raised to the power of t equals 9. Now what we are going to do will be to make use of this complex identity. If you have square root of negative 1, this equals i. So if you divide, if you decide to take the squares of both sides of this, this eliminate this, that means you are going to have negative 1 equals i power 2. So now you have negative 1 here, you substitute it with i power 2. So we are going to have, this is negative 1, we have i power 2 times 9 raised to the power of t equals 9. Now at this particular point, we can apply logarithm. We have log of i power 2 times 9 raised to the power of t equals log 9. Now, if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So applying this property right here, that means the t will come behind the log. So what we are simply going to have will be t times log i power 2 times 9 equals log 9. So from here, we can apply another logarithm property. If you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. We apply this property right here. So what we are simply going to have will be, that is t, times log i power 2 plus log 9 because this is just like a this is b log a plus log b making use of this identity and this equals log 9 so since we are solving for t by isolating this t i divide this by log i power 2 plus log 9 and I also divide this by log i power 2 plus log 9. So what happened here is this, cancel this. That means we are simply going to have t equals this is log 9 divided by log i power 2 plus log 9. Now, Remember, if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So the two here will come behind the log. Will come behind the log. So our answer will be t. We have t. Let me write it well. We have t equals log nine divided by. This will be. 2 log i plus log 
9. So this is the answer using this particular method. And if you also compare it with the other method, the both answers are obviously very correct. Look at the other method here. They are very correct depending on the method that you want to use. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it to methods one problem.